So this is Melissa Lee. She's a postdoc student uh -huh. at the University of Washington in the bioengineering department. Nice. And she's doing some fascinating work with um, biofluorescence. Oh. And her so this is kind of a mock-up uh -huh. of her rig up here. So what looks to be a bottle of Mountain Dew yes. is actually some deleted fluorazine. So it tastes nothing like Mountain Dew. Don't drink it. Don't drink it. <laughs> you might so, want to put it in a different bottle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and this is not grapefruit or or, oh. or strawberry. So So what you're seeing here are the excitation lights. Uh-huh. And so what happens with fluorescence is that uh -huh. you have an excitation and then you're measuring the emission of the light. Yes. So for that you need two things. You need an excitation light control. Uh -huh. You also need control of these emission filters. Right. So what this is doing right now, and the rotations are so small that you have to kind of look in that hole, but you can see the filter is switching back and forth. It's controlled by that servo on top. Okay. So the Arduino and the Atmel processor yes. are controlling both the motion of the servo uh -huh. and the turning on and off the lights. And okay. similarly, um, you can use that setup for other things like this costume. Uh -huh. So uh, normally the costume that I'm wearing has both servo elements in the wings uh -huh. and also lights in the costume. Right now I'm about to change the battery. Okay, so, uh, but we'll come back and check up on you later. That sounds good. That's really great. Cool. And so we're here with Bob with Hi. Atmel. Hello. Bob. Nice to meet you. What are we looking at? We are looking oh, nice. at the latest board announced by Arduino, uh, developed, uh, co developed by Atmel, the world's Arduino. This is the Atmel Zero board, and it's based on our uh, low cost, high performance 32 bit uh, SAMD21, which is a uh, 32 bit Cortex M0 architecture. Mm -hmm. Now, it is the same form factor as our trusty Uno. Right. But this part, again, is 32 bits, runs at 48 megahertz, but it's so much more than three times the clock speed. That's oh, the wow. All right. Because the capability of this chip, although the libraries, you know, is going to be completely backwards compatible with the Uno, mm -hmm. some of the added benefits of this board is when you're ready to step um, you know, perhaps into like a pure C development environment. Right. This board is also completely supported by Atmel Studio, our, our free professional grade development toolkit. It's free? It's free. Oh, Absolutely great. Free. Atmel Studio. Atmel Studio. Okay. On board, not only do we have the, the target chip, mm -hmm. the SAM D21, right. we also have an embedded debugger chip, which allows very precise uh, debugging capabilities into your target processor. Cool. There are two USB connectors because this SAMD21 also has both USB host and USB device capability. Nice. Wow. That's pretty awesome. What's the price point on it? I don't know actually. Oh, it, this it's is already actually, released. This is the prototype board, yeah. so availability and pricing is not yeah. yet. Oh, announced. do we not know when it's going to happen? Um, I, actually, I, I don't know what the official release the, the, the official release is. We're, but months? No. Weeks? Well, I mean, let, let me step back from the months. It, I I really anticipate within the next quarter, someone from actually Arduino would maybe have some okay. better visibility yeah. into that. Oh, right, because you guys are the chip. Yeah, we're, we're the chip. We're helping, you know, we designed it. We're helping them fab, but it's uh -huh. all up to Arduino to decide uh, yes, to the, get their, all their ducks in a row. When we it's can, appropriate Yeah, when it's appropriate. We've announced it. You know, so it's public. See. Maybe around sometime during the summer then, I right? would hope. I, yeah. I would hope so. Yeah. Again, oh. I'm sure Definitely could, before Christmas. Oh, definitely before Christmas. Because, you know, you got to get some, a geek I, something, right? <laughs> I, I, I will guarantee it'll be before Christmas. Yeah. All right. Cool. And the other, the third feature, which is mm -hmm. hit, not not intentionally, but just just for, you know, cost and ease of view purposes, is you can also use this external debugger and explore the signals by placing a connector in those holes over here oh. and you can also 
also debug external targets. Other other boards wow. people have developed using the SAMD21. That are that are communicating with Yes. The so right? not only do you have an Arduino board, you have a, a C development platform. Exactly the same form factor. And at the end of the day, an embedded debugger that you can use on other projects. And the studio that you were mentioning, the yes. studio software, yes. what languages does it let you it's, code in? Uh, it's primarily C with some back-end C++ support. Nice. Very good. This All is right. worth it. All Thank right. you so Thank much. You. Bob, right? Bob, yes. The Arduino U.